Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this custom switch or this checkbox to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So this is how it works. We can click on these switches and it will turn to the active state with this animation. And here I have also added a console log. So if I just right click over here and go to inspect. And if I go to the console and now if I click on this first switch, it says switch one is selected. And if I click on it once again, it says switch one is not selected. And the same goes with the second switch. So instead of displaying it in the console, you can do anything you want with JavaScript. So let's go ahead and add this to our blogger and WordPress websites. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the design video in the description. So let's get started. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's add it inside a new post. So let's click on new post and I'll just type custom switch. Now the first thing we need to do is change this into the HTML view. So if it is in the compose view, just click on this button and click on HTML view. And now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to our source code. And uh, let's go to the style.css file. And uh, let's copy all the CSS from here. And let's paste it over here. All right now, let's add the HTML. So here, let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file. And let's copy this uh, HTML from here till uh, here. And let's paste it over here. And the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy this JavaScript from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And now here you can add any number of switches. So here if you go to this uh, HTML file, here we can see that we have these switches and uh, in this div we have this icon and you can add your icon over here instead of this SVG. And here you can add the text of the switch. So here we have these two text content, notifications and control center. So you can change them over here. And then here you have the switch. So you can just change the ID of the switch and also the input field and everything will be all right. And also change the ID that you pass over here in this uh, function call. In the same way, you can go ahead and do the changes to all the switches that you add. All right, once you have done all of that, you can just go ahead and publish this. So let's click on publish and confirm. All right, our post has been published. So let's click on view. Now here we can see that our switch is being displayed, but we have some problems in the styling. So that's because uh, we have this uh, division with the class of container. Now in the theme also we have this division with the class of container. So the styling that we have for this container is being added to the container of the theme. So let's go ahead and change the class name over here. So in the HTML, you can just change this container to something else. So let's go back to our post. And uh, here, instead of container, let's change this to, let's try my container. And wherever we have the container, we'll just change it to my container. All right here, we have the class. So here also, we'll just change this to my container. And uh, now let's go ahead and click on update. Right now, let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we don't have any problems in the styling and we have the switches displayed over here. And if I click on this, we can see that the animation is working all right. Let's also open the console and let's see whether the values are being displayed correctly. So let's go to the console. And uh, we can see that everything is working all right. And uh, the last thing we need to do is we need to change the color. So right now it is uh, a dark gray color. We need to change it to this black color right here. So for that, let's go back to our post. And uh, here in this uh, switch container div, I'll just change the color to black. And let's update this. And let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the color is also displayed correctly. So that's how you can add custom switch to your blogger website. All right, now let's see how to add this to our WordPress website. All right, here I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website and uh, let's open this website. And here we can see this is a default theme that comes with the installation of WordPress. 
and I'm running this uh, WordPress website locally using this uh, app called Local by Flywheel. So you can just search for it online and download it and just go ahead and create a new site over here. Right now let's go back and I have signed into my WordPress dashboard and uh, let's go ahead and create a new post. So let's go over here to posts and let's click on add new. And here for the title I'll just type custom switch. Now this is the Gutenberg editor so you can go ahead and click on this uh, plus icon and you can search for custom HTML over here and you can just select it and here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So for the CSS I'll just create a style tag just like we did for the blogger website and uh, let's go back and uh, let's copy the CSS from here and let's copy all of this and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, now let's go ahead and go to the HTML file and let's copy the HTML from here and let's paste it outside the style tag and then lastly we need to paste the JavaScript so let's create a script tag and uh, let's go back and uh, let's go to the main.js file and let's copy this JavaScript and let's paste it over here and you can go ahead and make changes to these switches just like you did for the blogger website and let's go ahead and click on publish and publish again and here we can see that our post has been published so let's click on view post and here we can see our custom switches are being displayed and uh, if I click on it we can see that everything is working alright let's also check out the console and here we can see that the console is also working all right. So that's basically how you can add custom switches to your WordPress and your blogger websites. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the design video in the description so you can go ahead and check that out. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.